All right, peeps, we're back. Back for another one. Let's, let's take a look to see what this food be talking about. Eat. Shout out to uh, the Lapeef Network. Fair use. No, I'm playing. Shout out to them. I've been watching them for uh, about... I uh, started, I think... Man, about the beginning of this year. Shout out to me for fixing my camera, making it more clear so you can see me in all my glory. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, let's get into this, peeps. Mind that they still got time to recover. You know what I'm saying? So it just depends, I think, on whether or not it will be played out, depending on where that person is in their life at that particular time. See see what these they talking about here. Our nine to five guys played out. Our nine to five guys nine played out. Nine to five out. guys are played yes. out. Yes. We'll start off with the, yes. with the ladies with this one, because I think this question is... uh geared towards you you guys what are your thoughts yes nine to five men are they are played out and the only reason why is because <laughs> they expect to like wake up and they don't they uh peeps <laughs> listen whoever this person i don't know who the hell this is she gotta be like 23 so apparently nine to five guys are played out news to me I told you, man, y'all could just forget about me getting married because ain't nothing out here for me. I'll be honest with you, ain't nothing out here for me. If I do get married, I'm going to have to like move overseas to like the Philippines or Thailand or yeah, just those two countries because nine to five people have played out and she's going to tell us why. Let's, let's go back. She's going to explain why nine to five guys are played out. Yes, nine to five men are, they are played out. And the only reason why is because they expect to like wake up and they don't, they really don't want to do anything. Just let me go to work. Let me do this. Let me do that. Eat my little lunch, text my little girlfriend and just move on. But it's like, what are you really doing? What are you really doing? You're working. Okay, it's fine. But you're not like capitalizing anything. You're not, there's no genera generational wealth there. You know, like, what else are you doing? And if you have a <laughs> nine to five, right? Uh, shout, out, shout out to you uh, Gen Xers for raising great ass damn kids. Shout out to y'all. Y'all raise, especially these women, y'all have raised them perfectly. I mean, they are some class acts. No puns intended. But listen. <laughs> so... Nine to five people basically can't generate wealth. You know what's so funny about that? And I shouldn't really say this because they, they tend to like to censor people that talk about their community. But I'm pretty sure two groups came overseas to New York. Okay, that's the Jews and the Italians. The motherfuckers came all the way to the U.S. back in the day. Work their asses off. And now you got people, especially over in, in the New York area, that don't even have to work or just grew up in money because them motherfuckers work so damn hard to generate wealth. This See, this is why... This is why, number one, I think schools need to... I don't know what schools are doing. But they don't teach anything. I'm just going to call it for what it is. They don't teach nothing. I didn't learn nothing in school. You know, a lot of my teaching came from TV. When I did get the internet, I spent a lot of time on the internet back in uh, 2000, 2001, 2002. Yeah, I spent a lot of time on the internet just researching things and reading stuff. And yeah, the stuff that uh, this... Yeah, this is this is what y'all raised. So nine to five guys are played out because all we do, or and I'm sorry, all they do is they wake up, they go to work, they text their little girlfriends. They're not capitalizing on anything. <laughs> They're not generate generating uh, uh, generational wealth. I don't even think she even know how that even works, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to y'all Gen Xers and, and your baby boomers for raising good-ass damn kids. Why is everybody?
your face like that. They could you, I, I, my, you like that. what you what's coming out your mouth? I mean, continue though. I'll, I'll go after I mean, yes, continue. I, so Educate the way us. that I am, like I try Educate to be us. like my authentic self, right? I'm not saying that a man that works a nine to five is bad. There are men that make a really good living off of working a nine to five. It's just not for everybody. Some people work a nine to five and are mean. They come home and they're not their best self. They're really not. Wait, wait a minute. They mean? Yeah. So is it is it because you feel like they don't have time for you? Is it you feel like not like? No, there's a lot of people in this world that have jobs that they don't like. And they hate their job and they come home and they take it out on their women. <laughs> and it just causes a bad environment. Listen, this is what happens when, you know, I'm not going to even say it. See, I will say this. Women love to go to the damn extremes. So, do she not realize that uh, a lot of men who make a lot of money are the ones that tend to be the most mean? <laughs> because them motherfuckers got, they, they got to work. They're not working not to five. They're working freaking 100 hours a week. Hardly ever come home. I uh, well, I'm not gonna get into that. I, I, I bitch to the cry. Been at home, it really does. But Man, entrepreneurs have that same thing, though. Same. I'm sorry. This is some crazy shit. <laughs> when you start dogging nine to five dudes, this is crazy. <laughs> I, I'm gonna say this, Siobhan. Maybe because I'm in the entrepreneur mm. world, right? There are men that are entrepreneurs that hate that they're entrepreneurs. Yeah. Some love it. Right, they're gonna be entrepreneurs that are working a hundred plus hours, hours more thank than a you. nine to five. So maybe because I've dealt with like I'm in both, I was in both industries. Like you're going to see what all that stuff you just listed in the entrepreneurship world, and yeah. even worse because sometimes those men even got time for you because they're working so hard, right? Yep. Because they're trying to get their business up. No, but I get that. I get that. But what I'm saying is, is that a lot of people, a lot the people that love their job, those are very far few in between. They really are. How many people can you really look at right now that's going to say, I love my job? No, most people like their job. They tolerate their job. That's what I'm saying. But I get that. But a lot of entrepreneurs hate that they're entrepreneurs, too. There is both on the spectrum. What you're saying right now is correct. They hate their job. They hate working for a boss. Entrepreneurs hate that they're not um, built the doing getting that nine to five, that steady check. But what you said about generational wealth, do you know that a nine to five can also have generational wealth? Hold on, hold on, hold on, Q. You're asking the wrong. You, you, you approaching this wrong. So, Siobhan, can let me ask you a question? What what type of guy would you like to talk to? What type of career or what, exactly. what do you do for a living? Go boy, PP scammer. <laughs> yeah. No, that's not. That's I was not, thinking the same thing, scammer. A kick player. <laughs> see, she see, this is the type of woman right here that wants a scammer. Matter of fact, I think I I'm a, I'm gonna have to do a reaction uh video. Or may I don't know, y'all can go out and look at it, but it's from Tippendale. Cause he went out in the streets of Miami and asked women, would they do date a drug dealer, a scammer, or not a fiver? Overwhelmingly, they the majority of women chose a scammer. Seriously. They literally said, and then some of them even said this at nine and five, and they looked at him like, like we're like scum or something, like not a five, ew, not a five or ew. But that's the society we're living in right now. That is totally not what I'm saying. Okay, I think it's so easy to take what I'm saying out of context, but <laughs> it is. There's not a particular job that I have to have when I'm talking to or dating a person. That's not what I'm saying. I have a nine to five, right? But there's so much more that I can do. No, 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 no. What what type of guy? What's the prototype guy? Like, what's the ideal guy that you would talk have, to? What what would he do for a living? What what would he? How would he earn have a, I don't have a prototype guy. I don't have a particular like. Oh, you have to do this, or you or you, or you can't talk to me. That's not. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not saying what you'll accept. I'm saying like, if you had to create the perfect guy, 
and what he did for a living, what would he do for a living? I don't know. I really truly don't know, Anton. I couldn't even tell you that if I'm if you're asking me. How old is she? She gotta be like she's gotta be 19, 20 years old. Why are they uh she's gotta be 20 years old. Cause only 20 year olds talk like this. That's why look at everybody's faces. They're confused. I'm confused. You're talking on something as it, I, I don't get, I don't know where she's coming with this stuff. It's almost like she's trying to talk for everyone else, maybe. But I've never heard of uh, people hating a guy because he works a nine to five. That's normal. Hell, even there are people that even that make six figures that typically work a nine to five. So what's she talking about? I have no clue. Okay. Um, um go ahead, Kay. I, you know, while he was talking, I was about to say the same thing. Like people from any industry, you know, any even people that don't have jobs, like it doesn't matter. Like there are different people of any income bracket that are gonna be nice or mean or whatever. Um, but I was just what is played out mean to you maybe this is where the misunderstanding is are you asking me that yeah yeah um what, what did i mean when i say that <laughs> oh no i'll come back to that listen this is <laughs> listen baby boomers and gen xers Thank you. Thank you for birthing. Birthing girls. That have no clues of what the hell they talk about when they open their mouths. <laughs> oh, my God. So she don't even know what played out, what she means by played out. So. This is I can already tell right here. This is the type of woman that just talks out of her rear end. And then when you go back and ask her, well, what do you mean by that? Well, I don't, I have to get back to, I don't know. I don't know what I meant. I just said some words because it sounded good. <laughs> okay. Oh, so maybe that's gosh. where we're having the disconnect and why all of our faces were like. Yeah, oh. that's why I said that. I was like, why is everybody looking at me like that? I mean, I don't care, but I just wanted to really know. Yeah, I, I think respect her honesty. Sure. Like, I respect the fact that she's 100% real with how it is that she feels instead of giving us the answer. I don't like the right answer, I want the truth. So, I like the fact that she said what she said. I guess, mm -hmm. but you're wrong. She, did, she, <laughs> did, she didn't understand, she gave that answer and then fully understand the question. <laughs> so, I I it, 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 you can't be honest if you, if you don't understand the question. What? Yeah. So, the question. So the question asked about some asked about something that is subjective. What is played out is different to all different types of people. I'm sure there are people looking at us right now that think that's something that we have going on is played out. Like played out is so subjective for you to tell someone what you like what played out should be or shouldn't be. Like that it just doesn't work like that. Peeps, am I going crazy? So we're going to use the uh, Merriam-Webster dictionary, peeps. The Merriam-Web. <laughs> so the definition of played out, worn out or used up. Second, tired out. I thought I was going crazy for a second. So am I? See, I think I have autism because there is no way in here. I'm sitting here thinking I know what played out is. Basically, what she's saying is nine to five or basically it's tired. It's tired, tired out, right? Used up. It's not any good when something is worn out. It means it's no good. 
Example sentences. I'm just played out after the week I've had. Beeps, I mean, let's, hold on, let me go, hold on, what's the Urban Dictionary? Let's, let's, let's do the Urban Dictionary for all our gangsters out there. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Play it out. What you call something when you're sick of seeing, hearing about it, usually something that is used to be popular, when something loses its intrigue. So basically... She's saying that nine to five people that work nine to five. She's sick and tired of hearing about those people. She uh she has no intrigue about those type of people, right? Something that has been repeated so often becomes so popular, or the exposure of which is so widespread widespread is no longer hip or cool, right? Something that may be played out to a degree that it can never be hip or cool again, or may be played out temporarily, right? For instance, when one gets too drunk for days in a row and says drinking is played out and then gets drunk again the following weekend. When someone, something is used too much, everyone has it. So I had to sit there and think for a second. So based upon what she was talking about, she just doesn't really like people that have nine to five. She thinks there is tired. It's tired. It's not cool to have a nine to five. Right. So I, I she again, she's just talking out her rear end. Like that. It's a straight opinion question. Right. Yeah. No. Do you wear finger ways in your head? No, but I see women that do wear them and I like them. They look good. No, it's not played out. I know women that have short cuts and finger waves that look good. Uh, Jericho's finger waves is played out. So no, bad. it's not. It's played out. That's, okay. that, that's played, it played out. played out. You know what played out is. Come on. Come on. I mean, but if you think about it, I think it just depends on where you are in your life, right? So if you're talking about a person that's a lot, that may be a little bit younger, the lifestyle that they would prefer to have might be a little bit more fast. Anton, right? why y'all keep saying this girl is younger? She is 29. Kayla's 30. She's 29. Girl, you're you're missing, you're she's I'm not, like she's I'm not speaking to like her. She's 19. I'm okay, answering the question specifically. Okay. I'm saying that the that the answer to the question depends on who's answering it and where they're at in their life at that particular time. I'm not speaking about Siobhan specifically, right? A person that may be a little bit older maybe looking for a little bit more security, right? But a person that's a lot younger may be a little bit more in tune with trying to create a business or step out or try to do things a little bit more entrepreneurial or, you know, they may be willing to fail a little bit earlier because they may be keeping in mind that they still got time to recover. You know what I'm saying? You know what? Shout out to the Peef Network. Go ahead and follow them on YouTube. A uh, very great uh, podcast. I actually watched him actually quite a bit um, and stuff. Uh, yeah, so I guess nine to fivers are played out. So yeah, who the fuck cares? You gotta pay your bills. I don't even know why that's even a topic to be honest with you. So I'm gonna tell you what the context is because everybody I think is confused at this point. Basically, like I was saying, uh, there's a video from uh, Tippendale. I'll uh. Uh, I'll probably, uh, I might uh, try to find that video and, sh you know, react to it just to show y'all what women <laughs> think. Anyways, basically, a lot of women, when given a choice, they don't think, they think that men that just work a straight nine to five are, are not great uh, people to be around. Those are the same women that typically like to date, you know, drug dealers because they get fast cash, right? There's a they can get fast money. Uh, scammers because again they get tons of fast money. Of course, the problem lies was in when they get caught. It's just kind of like an investment, right? So these women like 
you know, tons of money. They like men that, again, gets fast cast. You're scammers. You know, like Clef Flo Doll. Anyways, um, yeah, those type of people. <laughs> Listen, Clef Flo Dollar. Anyways, yeah, so that's what that's what these women are about. That's 29 years old. That shows you. And listen, people, y- y'all think that this is not common. This is super common. Way more common than you think. So yeah, nine to fives are, are are played out. So if you work a nine to five job, I what the hell are you doing? It's time for you to go out there and run the streets and you know get fast cash somehow. Anyways. I'm out of here. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Are, is 9 to 5 played out? Is it really? Or is it something that we need to do? <laughs> I'm out. Peace.